Hi everyone, it's Snapped here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on with the Mixed Media Challenge for the Our Crafty Patch group. Now this has been set by the lovely Miss Mary Makes, so I'll link her YouTube down below so you can go and check it out. I think she was inspired by Artie Mays for this one. So I'll link Artie Mays down below as well. I'm sure you have all heard of her. Um, she does awesome mixed media projects. Now, I've made a head start. What I have done is grabbed, I keep all sorts as we do. I've grabbed a whole lot of these parcel delivery cards. When you're not home, the postie leaves these in your letterbox for you to go and pick up your parcels. So what I've done is just a book page collage over the top of that. Now I just used PVA glue to stick the book page down and then I sealed over the top with PVA as well. And then I just used gesso on top of that, just a light coating of gesso. Now I think the prompts are, I should have looked beforehand, but I think it's book page, gesso, watercolours, stenciling and stamping. I will check afterwards and if it's any different, I will add it in the description box. And I know when I watched Mary, she used some, I think it was tissue paper as well for her collaging. So I have some here that I might use undecided at this point. So yes, I have done that book page collaging and I've done the gesso so far just to get a head start and then i whacked these under some books just to flatten them a bit because with all the glue they had curled up a fair bit they're still a little bit curled but that's all right they're gonna curl up again after the next step but i'll have to stick them under some books again um yeah so next i'm going to add some watercolor so what i've decided to do is use i keep picking up watercolor pencils from the second hand shop so i might as well use them now, I have a project in mind for these background cards. So I'm thinking ahead about the type of colours that I want to use. And I've got five of these. And I'm thinking of doing journaling cards and tags, possibly, that sort of thing. But I'm undecided and I'm not sure whether I'm going to have them this way or that way and how big they're going to be. So at the moment, I'm just going to get the colours down, do the backgrounds and then... We will work that out. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do this one with you. And then I'll show you what I've done so far. So for this one, I'm going to do a few different browns. So I've got three different brown watercolour pencils here. Now I am hopeless at <laughs> mixed media. <laughs> I'm a wannabe mixed media artist. So um, yeah, I'm just going to scribble some colour onto these and then use my water pen, water brush thing here to um, move the paint around a bit. Now it will end up a bit liney and messy, but that doesn't matter because we've got other layers that we're gonna put over the top to hide the mess. So we'll give that a go. So I might start with the lighter color. And I'm just doing sort of groups of scribble, just blocks here and there. So I hope you're all doing well. We have just finished off a heat wave here in South Australia. Thank goodness it is over with. So I was able to get out and tidy up a bit of the yard before, which was lovely in the cool breeze. It's been quite uncomfortable. It's still a little uncomfortable. We're back down to 22 degrees Celsius here today, um, which is lovely, but it's still, once you start moving, it's quite humid. So, oh, this is quite reddish brown, isn't it? didn't realise it was a reddish brown, which is fine for this, but yeah, it might work well in one of the other ones I've got too, so I'll put it aside for that. So as you can see, the scribbles are quite messy, but when you add water to these, it sort of evens it out a bit. And you can always let it dry and then add more if you like and move it around a bit more, so it doesn't really matter if it's messy. Quite forgiving and then we've got a darker brown here which I'll fill in the gaps with pretty well do some of the edges I 
keep catching the pencils on the edges, which I've got to be careful of because it can rip the paper up a little bit. I've also got to try, like I get it a fair bit wet, but which is all right because we've got the gesso over the top and the PVA sealing it as well, but you don't want to get it too, too wet or else it will lift the paper. All right, so we've pretty well filled it in there with our scribble. So I'm just going to put these away for now. And I do have some spray. When I first started um, putting the water on, I was just using the water pen and that was fine. But I am finding a bit better if I just give it a little spray to get it started. And then I can add extra water with the water pen if needed. So that just helps start the movement of the paint. So you can see that it activates the pencil there. I wasn't liking the brush too much on this, but then I tried a few others and they were terrible. So I <laughs> went back to this one. So you can sort of blend the colours together nicely once you've added the water. And as I said, it will be patchy and that sort of thing, but I don't mind that at all. And because we're adding other layers, it doesn't really matter. And you can always go in and add some more colour once you've let it dry as well. Okay, so there's my messy background. I quite like that one. That one's turned out a bit better than my other ones. <laughs> so, but you can see all the different colours. That is quite red, isn't it? That was going to be an all brown one, but that's all right. I don't mind. It's very, very red. It's as red as the other reds I was using. So, But I'll show you the other ones that I've done while well, that's drying a bit. I've done this one, which was quite um, a red with a little bit of purple and brown. But as you can see, the red's in that. The brown there is as red as those reds. So, And then I did one which was sort of yellowy browns. I want to add a bit more dark brown to that one after. And then I've got one which is sort of aquas, greens, blues, aqua type colours. And then one that's green and browns. So they're the ones that I've done. Now what I think I want to do is add, I might add a little more colour to the ones that I've done already here. These seem dry enough to do a second round of colour now. So I'm going to do that. Well, this one dries a bit. And we might start with this one first. Because I think with this one I want to add some dark brown colour. So this is where you can go back in if you want and just add a bit more colour. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful Take a step back to see the truth around you. From a distance, you can tell. You and me, we're meant 
to be in the great outdoors forever free you and me meant to be So I think that is it for the watercolour. So what I'm going to do is let them all dry now. And then we can come back and get on with the other layers that we want to do. So I've grabbed my walnut stain ink and my forest moss oxide there to do some stenciling with, which is the next step. I have this harlequin style stencil and I'm just using my makeup brush here to apply the ink with. So I'm doing a voice over for the next few parts. That way I could speed it up. So not to make it too long and boring for you. So I'm just using the walnut stain on most of the pieces here and then the forest moss, I think, just on the green one. I was a bit shocked at the colour that come out. That's why you should always check the colour first. <laughs> but it worked out in the end <laughs> of the forest moss there. It was a bit different than I expected. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I'm just cleaning my makeup brushes off on a piece of paper when I swap inks out. Actually, it looks like I grabbed, I think it was Salty Ocean for that bluey aqua um, card there as well. Again, cleaning my brush off. And then I grab some um, blank book page um, to just clean my stencil off on. And that way I'm getting a nice pattern on the blank book page that I can use for future projects as well. You get so much residual ink on the stencil, it's a shame to waste it. So when you wipe it off with your um, wet wipe, you can get some of the ink onto your blank book page as well. Now I've got some tissue paper. This is tissue paper that I got from Witchcraft Do You Do. When I received an order from them, they had wrapped it in this paper, which was great. So I'm using that now um, to stick some pieces on each card. The great thing about that tissue paper is it has all these different hues in it and it has the bluey green, it has browns and it has ready tones as well. So I was able to rip pieces out that went with each of the cards. So I'll link which crafter you do shop down below so you can check out what they've got in stock. But yeah, I thought why not use some of this tissue paper up. It is a bit glossy, but I'm using a matte medium, so I thought that might help um, take some of the gloss away. And it ended up looking really nice as well. So yeah, just matte medium to stick it down and then to seal over the top of it as well.
Okay, now I've just got a text stamp and I'm using my walnut stain ink again. If it's quite well, just to stamp it. The full stamp twice onto the card. I've decided I'll probably end up doing uh, small tags and two tags for each card, so. Actually, that worked out really nicely. So these are my five finished mixed media cards or backgrounds. I actually really, really like them. <laughs> Slightly surprised. Bit of a dog's breakfast once I finished the um, uh, watercolour. Um, you just never know how things are going to turn out, do you? So you just persevere. I'm always watching other people and they layer things up and in the end they just look awesome. Um, yeah, which has helped me heaps think that, you know, you just keep going and put your layers on and see what you think in the end. And I'm really, really happy with these. So um, that is it for my mixed media challenge. So that was heaps of fun. Thank you so much, Mary, for challenging us with that. Um, it's been great fun. Uh, the stamping is going to take a little bit to dry. Uh, because I did do it with the distress inks and that so I'll leave that to dry but I do want to continue further on with these and in another video soon I will be making something with these as a background so uh, keep an eye out for that so take care of yourselves be good and I will see you again soon bye